Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. I should probably have a snake with him right now if there's gonna be a snake episode. Oh, it's locking out my knee. Oh, oh power. Okay, so if you watched the ball python video where I showed how ball pythons changes the age, then you know that I mentioned I was gonna do a video with the reticulated pythons in the same fashion. Now, the difference with retics is they obviously get a lot bigger than ball pythons. So this video is gonna be showing you how reticulated pythons not only change in color, but also in size as they get older. This is Halo. Ah, look how chill she is. She's so awesome and mellow. And put her down, see if she wants to move around a little bit. Or maybe she just wants to pretend like she's a ball python. She's like orange and pink and purple. Just a beautiful snake. I can only imagine what she's gonna look like when she's 17 feet long. As you can see, she's grown to be a giant beauty. <laughs> also has to be one of the most docile snakes here at our snake room. And uh, we're gonna let Hillary hold Halo because actually, Halo's named after Hillary. How you feel about all that? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You feel yeah? <laughs> Why do you like Halo? Um, well, she's our first retic, and she's just super chill. And she's also got us, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Snakes bring you closer together with your loved ones. <laughs> Try it. So Halo hatched out in April of 2014, so she's a little over seven years old right now. And she's, I don't know exactly how big. Man, there is a leaf blower out there that's just ruining this video. It's okay. <laughs> Gosh, why does it always that? Like, it's perfectly quiet out here until I hit record on the camera. Yeah, so she's probably about, I don't know, 80 Wait, pounds. Wait, when was her birthday? April 6, 2014. We didn't get her the day that she hatched. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? That's how she looks. That's how she is. She eats 10 pound rabbits every few weeks to a month. And we're not trying to grow our snakes huge over here. We just want them to be beautiful and healthy. So, Halo, it's time for the next snake. How's the light there? Good. Check out this tail. Look how orange that tail is. You that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a gorgeous snake. Just a little baby. She's born on uh, August 12th. So that was Patsy LaRue then. This is Patsy LaRue now. Funny thing about Patsy LaRue, she's also named after a, uh, a woman. She's named after Hillary's grandma. <laughs> Remember? What is her Remember how that happened? Yeah, because she was dropped off when we were at my grandma's house. Daddy, what is her name again? Patsy LaRue, you little dingy. Oh, she's on the run. Chilling now, huh? Yeah. This is the moment you hope to attain when you're holding a retic, I think, is this moment of just pure chillness where they're just they found their happy spot on your body 
And they're she's all good. She's kind of tickling my side with her tail, though. What? <laughs> she's kind of tickling my side with her tail. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now I feel like I have to sneeze. Sneeze. <laughs> it went away. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> the worst. So Patsy turned six last month in August. Not as big as Halo. She's a little younger, but also we just feed, you know, normally. And <laughs> normally. What does normal mean, Brian? What is normal? <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> She's a phantom sunfire het purple albino. And there she is, Patsy LaRue. Now, I will tell you that we do have a bonus species coming up at the end of the video, but we still got more articulated pythons to uh, shuffle through here, so we'll do that first. That is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This mochino girl started to shed right here in Noah's hands. Right there, you can see it. Pretty cool. That was Beatrice then, and this is Beatrice now. She's a mochino. She's also just turned six years old last August, and I just named her Beatrice because, I don't know, you know, like, what's up, Beatrice? I did a video on Mochino and Indocaramel and Mocha and Purple Albino, White Albino, Clark Strain Albino a while back. If you want to know a little bit more about the genetics of this snake and how they work as far as being allelic with the Clark Albino strains, it's a fairly interesting video, I think, and you get to see more of uh, Beatrice in that whole video, so you can go check that out. I'm going to hand this snake off to Hillary, see how she does. She's breathing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, snakes bringing people together. Not both sides of your neck, under the sh under the shoulder. There you go. Yarby, darby, hooby, farby. Buttercup. I don't know why she's named Buttercup. Um, oh, because she likes butter. We feed our snakes a little extra butter, put a little extra fat on them. <laughs> Is that what we do? That's why she's called Buttercup. Hey, Leia, I think you got a little bit of the chapstick on your teeth. Buttercup is a. What kind of snake do you think Buttercup is? Yellow? Purple? A little more yellow, maybe a um, Sunfire Mojave Phantom. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> she just tried to get in my sunglasses. Was I close that she's a, a Mojave something? <laughs> Mojave Phantom something? Oh! <laughs> ah! The interesting thing about these two snakes is that they're two weeks apart in age. And I got them at the same time, at the same size, had them on the same exact feeding schedule. They're both girls. I've confirmed that with many people. Really? Yes. Oh. And look gnarly. at the and look at the size difference. <laughs> it's in, insane. Whoa. We got Betsy Ross and Buttercup. She's a purple albino. She is a lavender genetic stripe possible tiger. Probable tiger. Chickens. Stop paying attention to yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay these guys out. Wow, 
The crazy thing is on camera, they look kind of the same size <laughs> when they're next to each other, but I mean, they're not. No, no way, really? Yeah, go stand over there. Here, okay. And here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now we can see the size difference. <laughs> bonus species blood python python brogger this is sangria the mother of our only clutches of blood pythons we produce here at triple b and i just accidentally splashed water on her so that's kind of nice looking but there she is she's uh they obviously don't get nearly as big as reticulated pythons as they age she is roughly the same age how old is she so she actually turned six years old back in may this year and you can see <laughs> blood pythons. Yeah, a lot of six-year-olds. Well, if you think about it, we moved back from Hawaii about seven years ago. Yeah. So we have a good amount of six-year-old snakes. Yeah. But there she is. Great. And the one thing that all the snakes have in common is that we raise them and handle them often as they were aging. And so they're all very handleable. And we never have to really worry about them biting other than the accidental feeding response. You know, a lot of people think of blood pythons as very defensive snakes, which they can be if you don't work with them. And you work with them, get them used to human handling and interaction, they become beautiful, gentle giants like this mini giant right here. And she laid a clutch, you know, not too long ago. Well, it's been a, bit, been a bit now, but she's still putting on some weight back from that. But slowest metabolism ever. There she goes, Sangri the Blood Python. Any uh, final thoughts, mommies? Um, yeah, you, she looks comfortable on you. Is that where you're saying you're done holding snakes for the day? She's the okay. easiest and lightest one. I know, but she just never liked me. She never liked you? When, when she was little. Yeah, she didn't like anybody when she was little. She struck at the camera. That's true. All right, I'll hold her just for a little bit. Oh, I was, you don't have to. Oh, that's okay. Okay, don't drop her. Okay, got her. Oh, she's just so light. Just like a little, little fatty. What? Do you know? About snakes. <laughs> what about snakes? That I want them to have pink and they're so pretty with pink and they're so I know. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy, baby. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in for our episode today. Uh, we will be doing an uncut this week at Freedom Breeder. Uh, until you see us then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Aloha.